Today I'm going to show you how to insert an NG tube into your patient. There are a couple indications that we would use this NG tube for the patient. One would be in place of assisting with the feeding, you would need an order from the physician in order to use an NG tube for a feeding. The other is during resuscitation and you would follow NRP protocol and procedures when you would need to put an NG or an OG tube in for that patient. Please review the following policy and procedures to see when an indication for an NG tube would be necessary. To insert an NG tube, you will need Duoderm, which acts as a barrier protector for the skin. The NG tube itself. Make sure your NG tube is size appropriate for your baby. Today I'm going to use a 6.5 French. A BD syringe so that you may verify placement of your NG tube once you are in. Tegaderm to secure your NG tube and scissors to be able to cut your barrier protector and your tegaderm. And lastly, a stethoscope so that you may confirm your placement. Per our policy, you must know how to measure for your placement of your NG tube before placing the tube. It is located in policies and procedures on the WOWS under the CODI system. Oral gastric, you need to go three times the weight in kilograms plus 12. If you're going to place it nasogastrically, the nose, you need to know three times the weight in kilograms plus 13. And that would be your number that you should go off of when you're inserting your tube. If you do not know the weight of your patient and you can guesstimate to the best of your ability or during a delivery situation, you can do what we've done in the past, which was take the tube itself, place it next to the nostril, go down to the earlobe, and then curve it down underneath the xiphoid process. This baby is measuring to be about 21. You would only use that method during a delivery when it's an emergent process and you do not know the baby's exact weight. Otherwise, refer to the policy as far as three times the weight in kilos, and if it's oral gastric, plus 12, if it's nasogastric, plus 13. Now that we know that, let's say that this baby's weight is three kilos. Three times three is nine, plus 13 is 22. Let's go ahead and place our tube. You will cut the duoderm based on what side nostril you're going to try to go down. To begin, you will wash your hands, place on a set of gloves, cut a piece, of the barrier protector for your baby. Place your barrier protector underneath the nostril across the cheek so that we are not going to disturb the skin when we secure the NG tube. Take your tube, have your syringe ready in case your placement is on. You may use lubricant on the tip of the tube to help it pass more easily through the nares. Slowly go down. If there's resistance, do not force the tube. Keep passing the tube until you get to your number, 22. When the 22 is at the nares, hold it with your finger, take the syringe, 
and try to aspirate slowly the stomach contents. When you receive some form of gastric juices or a form of feeding, you know that you're there. Sometimes there's only that present in the tubing. The other way you confirm your placement is by auscultation. You will listen for your placement. You should hear a thump or a thud when you push 0.5 mLs of air in. Place your stethoscope underneath the xiphoid process. Push in about 0.5 mLs of air till you hear the thump. Sounds like we're in. Then you will take a piece of tegaderm and secure your tube where you can visibly see the numbers, like so. Make sure the NG numbers are facing upright so that you can see them, and then secure it with a tegaderm. Now your NG tube is ready for use with feeding. When placing an OG tube, it's a very similar procedure. You would place a barrier protector underneath the lip on the chin. You would use your formula to measure, so 3 times 3 is 9, plus 12, because it is an OG tube, equals 21. Go ahead, take it, and go straight to the back of the throat. Go slowly. Sometimes the babies will gag. Once you're there, check your placement. By aspirating and then auscultating with 0.5 mLs of air. Then secure your tube with the numbers facing up. And your tube is ready for ventilation or feeding.